Thank you for joining me on Thursday, July 18th, 2019 for today's Amazon Sellers Breaking News. Amazon Sellers News, where I get the pleasure of reporting to you today specifically the great news, the trends we're seeing from our 10,000 foot view from helping Amazon sellers all over the world thousands of Amazon sellers all over the world. And I'm gonna get right to the great news, but I want each one of you watching this video, everyone to stay until the very end. This is my hook. I want you to watch this entire video. I'm gonna go through it quickly, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna to talk to you about incredible news regarding sellers' rights. Your rights as Amazon sellers is growing exponentially around the world. So stay on this video to the very end. Okay, first breaking news, and it's good news today, almost all good news. Reinstatements after multiple trademark and copyright complaints. Now, the way we are getting these, and we're getting them faster and faster than ever, is we take a list of all the IP complaints that you've had and start with the most recent ones first, and we start getting your retractions. Once we get a certain percentage of retractions, then we write a killer plan of action to Amazon identifying what we've done, the steps that have been taken, that they were or were not any intellectual property rights. I point out the withdrawals of those and we get reinstatements. Now, simultaneously with submitting that first plan of action, what you need to do is to continue to work on getting retractions. Now, if you are asked for a supplemental plan of action, what do you do? You put in your continuing efforts and more important, the continuing success of getting retractions of the IP complaints. This works for us. It can work for you. If you need help, of course, you can call us for free consultation. Another good news, breaking story number two, good news, Amazon has been releasing withheld funds faster and faster over the ensuing weeks. I've been a little shy about using this story or telling you this story on breaking news because I wasn't sure it was going to continue for enough period of time to be worthwhile of alerting sellers, but we are seeing a dramatic increase in getting funds released. We're finding the disbursement appeals team to be better than payment funds, but both are working. Funds are being released faster than they have over the last few months. Okay, third breaking news story. If you've been dinged with related accounts, the good news is Amazon is not only informing you that you're suspended for having related accounts or related to an account that had been suspended or engaged in fraud or whatever, but Amazon is asking for specific information in your supplemental plan of action. Now, I think this is good news if you have not been deadly caught with related accounts and you can identify your employee, your spouse, your cousin, your whatever who had that other account. Now, it could be interpreted as bad news because if you cannot identify who is operating that other account that is related to yours, then it could be a problem. But I think it's always good news when Amazon stops hiding the ball or hides the ball even less. Okay, stay tuned. The best news is at the end. Okay, now another, another form of good news is a little bit of self-promotion on our part here at Rosenbaum Familaro. Our new class of paralegals has been hired and they are starting. We have just hired three new college educated paralegals to begin their training here to start helping sellers around the world so that we can write your plan of action so we can get your IP complaints withdrawn even faster. I am pleased to invite or pleased to welcome Alexa Allers, Jacques Laveau, and Zachary Cole who before joining us proudly served in the United States Navy. Guys, I can't be more happy to have you on our team. Okay, trademark complaints. This is the only bad news today. Trademark complaints from unbundling products. If you buy a set of, of 50 tools and then you start selling them individually, that is potentially a trademark violation that does not have an exception to the first sale doctrine. And we have seen a slight increase in this type of suspensions. So if you are unbundling products and it's a small part of your business, you may want to think twice about continuing to do that. It is causing suspensions. Now, now, here, here is what I've been asking you to wait for. The best news of all, the best news of the day, news that Amazon sellers need to know about, and you need to also talk with your congressman, your representative, any connections you have to government. Sellers' rights around the world are increasing dramatically. It started about a year ago with India 
they're making a law that said Amazon cannot sell on the platform. The selling is for the sellers, the platform can be owned by Amazon, but they can't step on sellers toes and compete with their own sellers. Now CNBC and Yahoo.com has reported on the deal reached with Germany and it will also affect accounts all over the UK, I'm sorry, all over the EU, not in the UK. I believe that's because of the whole Brexit disaster. But what's going on is that there's a deal reached where, here are the key points, antitrust from Germany had gotten involved. A federal cartel in Europe was involved. They're going to be limited on how they can use your data. They're going to be limited on how they can compete with you. And they're going to be limited on how they can just unilaterally harm sellers. So sellers rights selling in Europe, not including the UK, your rights are going to increase dramatically. And it doesn't matter whether you are a seller located in the United States. What matters is that you're selling in Europe, okay? So sellers' rights are increasing dramatically. Now, I've also laid low and have been other reports about legislation coming up in the state of California to also protect sellers, okay? So this is happening, and while other people are reporting about it, I, I'm really happy to inform you that not only is it happening, but that we as a law firm are participating in it. My partner, Anthony Famolaro, is a leader in this field, and he testified before for the legislature in the state of California about how sellers are harmed by Amazon's conduct. And we are very confident this legislation is going to pass in the state of California, then hopefully it'll grow throughout the United States. And this is fantastic news for sellers where your rights are increasing, your ability to hold people accountable for making false counterfeit complaints is increasing, and law around the world is beginning to support sellers like you and to protect sellers against Amazon. Please join my partner Anthony tomorrow at Midwest Ecom in Minneapolis at ASD IRC and Hickory Flats programs in Las Vegas at the end of the month. And if you are a private label seller, and I keep promoting this, okay? If you are a private label seller, you must diversify where you get your products from. Look at India. Look at the, I want to make sure I never screw up this name. Look at the sourcing from India, Amazon FBA private label Facebook group for ideas and mechanisms and a specific trip to India to help you begin sourcing from India where there's no trade war. Thank you very much for joining me for today's Amazon Sellers News and I, I can't be more proud and happy that all I'm delivering to you today is absolutely great news for sellers.